But it's up guys, so yes, I said I'm not gonna post any videos for a month just to focus on my exams But then some shit happened and I need to talk about this shit If you are living in Malaysia, you should know by now about this whole pet a dog event issue Actually, you don't even have to be living in Malaysia because this news is already worldwide And we all know that if a news from Malaysia goes worldwide The chances of it being a bad and embarrassing news that will lower down the name of the country is this high Actually a bit higher. So apparently we have found the ultimate source of natural disasters that has been happening in Malaysia. For example, the tornado. All these smart ass scientists, physicists, geologists, environmentalists, they've been doing research and studying for years to find source and how to prevent natural disasters, but they also cannot find answer. But we Malaysians found it. How you ask? By touching a dog. Eh, balik kampung makan petai lah bro. I cannot take this bullshit anymore. First of all, how the fuck can a cute little puppy sitting down there doing nothing cause big ass tornadoes when your bloody hand is in contact with his bloody body? And when I say bloody, I don't mean like blood, darah kind of shit on your hand. And it's, it's just an expression guys, come on. First of all, let me clear things up. I am not trying to disrespect all my Muslim friends out there. I am aware and I do understand that Muslims are not supposed to touch dogs and I'm totally fine with it. Every religion has their do's and don'ts. But when somebody comes and tell me that the cute little puppy is the cause of all these natural disasters, Ooh, that is when my chocolate tete fly everywhere. Like I was reading this article on this whole pet and dog event issue and my left tete, my left, no left is this side, my left tete tried to fly away. I quickly grab my data and say, stay data, naughty data, stay, stay, stay. And he stayed after that. And I was reading this article on how they said they want the organizer of this pet a dog event to be stoned to death. I know right, that was exactly how I felt. Like I know I'm not really a smart guy, but at that moment when I read the article, I felt so bloody stupid, like stupid to a whole new level of stupid. I never would have thought that I would feel like this kind of stupidity in my whole entire body. That was the first time. So I want now everyone to come, come and sit down. Let me give a lesson to you all about logic and being rational. A rapist. He gets few years in prison and then he walks free. Bear in mind, a rapist, they don't just touch a girl. They rape a girl, they harass a girl, they violate a girl, they spoil the girl's future. They spoil the girl's life actually and they walk free. A murderer goes to prison for years and they walk free. And if the murderer got some kind of power and money, you don't even have to go to prison. But when somebody organizes an event to show love and compassion to this beautiful and faithful creature, they are asked to be stoned to death. Whew. Faith in humanity restored. <laughs> Play some inspirational music. I'm out. But one thing, bear in mind, the person sitting next to you, they will someday leave. But the dog, a dog will always stay faithful to you. I just want to make a quick suggestion. I suggest all of you guys to take your time and watch this movie called Hachiko. It's a movie based on a true story of a dog. It's really touching. I cried like a bitch because at the end of the day, we are all bitches. Something to think about. So that's about it guys. Do comment in the comment section below. Tell me what do you think about this whole uh, pet the dog event issue thing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share, favorite, and like this video. And also subscribe to my channel because Bika World is the best YouTube channel in the world. And so that my Facebook page. Follow my Twitter. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.